I accept that there is uh, unease um, in the Caribbean about air passenger duty. We are leading as a government to uh, raise extra revenue. We have a very big budget deficit. Uh, this is one means, it's only a small means, but it is one means by which uh, revenue can be raised. But I do take the point that it's a particularly strongly felt point here in the Caribbean that the banding system, uh, which measures distance to capital cities rather than the distance of each individual flight, uh, means that the Caribbean is put at a competitive disadvantage compared to, say, Florida as a, as a comparable alternative holiday destination in this part of the world. Um, tax levels are not set by our foreign affairs department, they're set by our finance ministry, the Treasury, and I have uh, spoken to uh, Caribbean High Commissioners in London and I have spoken and written on a number of occasions to our Treasury to make sure that they are uh, fully aware of the feeling in this part of the world about this particular tax. And our Treasury Ministers and officials have also met with Caribbean High Commissioners, including the Barbados High Commissioner. Uh, so it's well understood within our Treasury uh, the strength of feeling on this issue. I'm not in a position to make uh, a definitive statement. We have our budget our annual budget in London on March 23rd, uh, and I hope that uh, the Treasury will be in a position to announce any changes then at the same time as any changes might be announced on income tax or sales tax or business taxes at that point. Um, I do understand the strength of feeling. Uh, we will see what we can do to, uh, to address the concerns that people have, um, but on a more positive note, uh, I still believe that, uh, that this will continue to be a very popular destination for British business and will become even more popular in the years and decades. We've, now that the coalition government has had time to settle in, I was wondering, um, in terms of, you just mentioned sports tourism, um, has there been any new developments towards alleviating, amending, ameliorating the APD? Uh, which is of a great concern not only to Barbados but the rest of the region as well. Um, it's a fair question. I, let me say let me say a couple of let me make a general point and then I will come to the specific point. The general point is that I think the prospects for tourism from Britain to the Caribbean are extremely strong, and I think one of the reasons that they may have taken a slight dip in the last year or two, uh, the upward trend has been because of bigger global economic factors. Um, but I was talking earlier today to British Airways, to Virgin, uh, they are putting more and more flights on. Um, this, as far as I'm aware, is, is one of well, it's the only country I've been to where more British people visit than the total population of the country uh, every year. So it is an extremely um, popular destination. And, um, and uh, when I tell people that I'm visiting Barbados, uh, everybody is, is uh, envious. Um, of me for, for doing that, so it remains a destination which, uh, which is very, uh, as I say, popular um, for people in Britain.